Ljubljana might be our favorite city in Europe, but it can be difficult finding all the required info on this amazing city to have a successful trip. So in this video, we're walking through everything you need to know about planning a trip to Ljubljana. We'll cover how to get around, essential travel tips, key details, and how to enjoy Ljubljana like a local. So hit that like button and let's dive in. All right, when it comes to getting to Ljubljana, you have three main options. If you're flying into Ljubljana, you'll arrive at the city's international airport. From here, you can either take a taxi, which will get you to the city center in around 30 minutes, or catch a public bus from outside the airport terminal and be downtown in about 50 minutes. If you're arriving by train, you'll arrive at the Ljubljana railway station, which is much closer to the city center. The train station is relatively small and easy to navigate, so you should have no problems here. It's about a 10 minute walk from the train station to the main square in downtown Ljubljana, so it's a very centrally located spot. If you're arriving by bus, you'll also arrive just outside the train station. Here, you'll find plenty of buses lined up with large numbers identifying the spot where each scheduled bus will depart from. Every time we visited Ljubljana, we found it slightly confusing finding the exact location of our departure bus here. But luckily, the staff at the bus ticket office, located just outside the train station, are always incredibly helpful. One helpful tip about the bus ticket office is inside, there actually is an affordable luggage storage spot. You can follow signs at the end of the hall to the luggage storage location, where for just over 5 euros per day, you can leave your luggage to explore Ljubljana bag free. We used this our first time we were in Ljubljana, and it worked out great for us. Getting around Ljubljana is slightly different than most cities, and that's because in 2012, Ljubljana actually outlawed the use of cars and motorized vehicles inside the main city area. Because of this, you won't find public buses or taxis to take you around the main tourist areas. Instead, most tourists get around by simply walking, which is fine given the old town area is relatively small. However, in addition to walking, you have a few other options to explore. Ljubljana streets are absolutely beautiful, and exploring on two wheels is one of the most enjoyable ways to see the city. And Ljubljana makes that super easy. All over the city, there are public bicycles you can rent for free, provided you set up an account first. Simply go to the LJ Bikes website, make an account, and purchase a one-week subscription, which is just one euro. Then, you can unlock a bike from the many stations around the city and explore Ljubljana by bicycle. If biking isn't your thing, Ljubljana also has a fleet of electric carts called Cavaliers, which will zip you anywhere in the main city area for free. You'll see those cruising all over the town, and you can simply flag one down as you would a taxi, or call their number, which will include below to schedule a free ride. These are a fast and free way to quickly get around the city and are especially useful if you're carrying luggage. If you prefer wheeling your luggage without a Cavalier, you'll be pleasantly surprised to find that most of Ljubljana's cobblestone streets are actually very luggage friendly and the smooth stones actually allow luggage to roll easily. So regardless of your preference, you have several ways to navigate this city. Being nestled at the base of the Julian Alps, Ljubljana is home to some of the cleanest and tastiest drinking water in Europe. Slovenians take great pride in their drinking water, so much so that they actually enshrine the right to clean drinking water in their constitution. Because of this, tap water is completely safe to drink in Ljubljana and there's no need to buy bottled water. In fact, Ljubljana has over 40 public drinking fountains in their downtown area alone, where you can easily fill up your bottle on the go. If you're ever in a pinch trying to find one, you can download the Tap Water Ljubljana app for free, which has a map of all the drinking fountains in the city. And if all that free water makes you have to go, Ljubljana has you covered there as well. Ljubljana is one of the few European cities we've visited that provides free public bathrooms, with there being seven locations around the city. We found the bathroom underneath the lock ridge by the market to be clean and fresh, but you can find others around the city by looking for a WC sign, which stands for water closet. Traditional Slovenian food is absolutely delicious, and there are some dishes you have to try when you visit Ljubljana. We'll be releasing a complete food tour video of Ljubljana shortly, outlining some of the best restaurants and iconic Slovenian dishes, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Additionally, if you plan on cooking for yourself, it's important to note that most grocery stores are closed on Sundays, so be sure to plan around that. Also, if you're looking to dine on a budget, the main Spar grocery store near the Triple Bridges sells some delicious pre-made sandwiches for 250 euros, so we found groceries and picnics supplies from there were a great way to fuel up without breaking the bank. There's also a produce market located in the main area right along the river. Here you'll find vendors selling all sorts of locally grown food. We found the prices here to be very affordable and it's a great place to stock up on fruits, vegetables, and even on pasteurized milk from vending machines. Yep, you heard that last one right. So be sure to check out our top things to do in Ljubljana video if you want to see this, as well as the other must-see spots and top attractions in Ljubljana. 
And while we're talking about our top things to do video, we'll share a quick tip on visiting Ljubljana's famous castle. If you want to reach the fabled castle that overlooks the city from Ljubljana's central hill, you have two main options. First, you can walk up some very well-maintained walking paths. These paths are incredibly scenic, and it takes approximately 15 minutes to reach the top. However, there is some real elevation gain, so only consider this if you're not scared of breaking a sweat. There are four different paths that you can take to the top, but they're all gorgeous and offer terrific views of the city below and nature along the way. If you instead want an easier way to reach the top, you can take the funicular to the top as well, which we've heard is a fast and fun way to reach the castle and offers great views from its huge glass windows. Slovenia has been on the euro since 2007, so this Technicolored money is the currency you'll use. If you aren't keen on carrying a wad of cash around, we found credit cards were accepted just about everywhere we went in Slovenia, so plastic is your friend in Ljubljana. When it comes to tipping, it's also important to note that tipping is not an expectation in Slovenia, so it's not expected to add a tip to your restaurant bill. However, you can always leave a euro or two if you feel the service was fantastic or consider rounding up to show a small sign of appreciation. Slovenian is the official language of Slovenia, so you can expect to hear plenty of Slavic conversations during your stay. And while many locals and shopkeepers in the Old Town area speak English, it's important to know a few key phrases. Dobrodan means good day, prosim is please, hvala is thank you, and cheers is nastravia. If you want to gain some good favor with the locals of Ljubljana, learning a few phrases is a great place to start. Truth be told, my ancestors immigrated from Slovenia, but even I struggle with this language. But it's important to try to make an effort. If you're looking to pick up some authentic Slovenian souvenirs in Ljubljana, you have a few great choices. For starters, Slovenia is world-renowned for its honey, and the country actually has more beekeepers per capita than anywhere else in Europe. As a result, picking up some fresh and local Slovenian honey is a great gift. If you're looking for something artsy, Slovenians have been master decorators of their beehive boxes for hundreds of years, and you can still buy hand-painted wooden boards from their hives at many shops around town. If you're looking for something more elegant, you can also purchase some handmade Slovenian lace. Slovenians have been expert lace makers for centuries, and there are plenty of stores around town Town where you can pick up exquisite lace products at a great price. And if you're looking for something a little bit more kitschy, there are several shops selling trinkets depicting Ljubljana's famous dragon, which is the main icon of the city. You'll see dragons guarding the famous dragon bridge, wandering at local festivals, and yes, even on keychains, bottle openers, mugs, and t-shirts. So picking up a dragon-themed souvenir can be a great option while in town. Another thing to do in Ljubljana is just shop. And that might seem pretty obvious, but we actually don't do much shopping in other cities, just because a lot of the cities that we go to can feel really touristy. They're only selling cheap souvenirs. But in Ljubljana, we found there's a lot of really cool shops with products made directly in Slovenia that are pretty high quality and pretty useful as well. So we're definitely not souvenir shoppers, but there have been things that have definitely caught our eye here just because they're so unique to this city. So definitely check out some of these cool small shops when you're in town. While in Ljubljana, there are several incredible spots nearby that are worth checking out. One of which is Slovenia's famous Lake Bled. Being just an hour from Ljubljana's old town, this is a great day trip to consider, and you can easily catch a bus outside Ljubljana's train station. Lake Bled might be one of the prettiest spots we visited, and we fell in love with Lake Bled so much the first time we visited that we actually returned recently to get married here, and it was an absolute fairy tale. So be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see that. While near Lake Bled, you can also check out Vintgar Gorge, which is a beautiful canyon in the area. My family has visited here multiple times, and says the gorge walk is stunning and great for people of all ages. Another day trip to consider is Postojnia Cave. This is one of Europe's prettiest cave networks and actually is home to the first railway to ever run through a cave, so it's easily explorable for people of all ages. And just 15 minutes away from this cave is Slovenia's famous Predjama Castle. This 800-year-old castle is built right into the cliff and is home to many secret passageways, histories, and gorgeous views. You can purchase tickets to tour the castle, which we've heard is a fun experience and a great day trip. So that's it for our travel guide of the capital of Slovenia, Ljubljana. Be sure to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel to see our other videos from Europe and all around the world. Next, we're headed to Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Greece. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Before you click away, consider supporting our Amazon store. Courtney designed these packing cubes from scratch to make packing for days of the week super easy. We have a small size, which is great for summer clothes, and a large size that can fit just about everything under the sun. Your support means the world to us and Zeppi. See you, Zeppi.